What it do, what it does, what it be like, people. This is your boy DJ Baby Boy, and you are tuned in to Salute the Grind. And I got the one and only, I'm talking about one of the baddest vocalists on the planet right now coming out of Fort Lauderdale, man. You know what I'm talking about? Florida, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to let you introduce yourself, man. Man. Urban Mystic, introduce yourself, brother. Man, it's all good, man. It's good to be here, man. Shout out to my man, DJ Baby Boy. Y'all know what it is. She family, Urban Mystic. Mr. Soul Man himself. We here with my family tonight, hanging out. What it is, bro? Good to see you, fam. Hey, you as well, man. Everything good, man. Tell the people how long you've been doing this music and, uh, you know, what started you off and all that, man. Oh, man, man. It's, it's been a journey, man. It's been a 19-year journey. Been out here doing my thing, man, and, and still on the grind, man. Still moving and still grinding it out. You know, man, we started back in first album dropped in 04. And uh, man, we 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 keeping it on the grind, man. We got some new music that we just dropped, and man, we stand out here keeping it moving, man. Urban Mist. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up for sure. So tell the people some of your inspirations that got you kicked off into the music. Oh man, definitely, man. Growing up, I was in the house of uh, 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 being the youngest of four boys, man. Listening to my oldest brothers get down and and play some music, man. I was always listening to guys like. Bobby Womack, Sam Cooke, uh, 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 Mary J. Blige, Jodeci, you know, uh, uh, Tank, Genuine. These were artists who who started me and brought me up into the game, and I followed. They followed suit with with soul music, man, and kept it moving. Man, what's dope about that, man? A lot of the people that you mentioned, man, they all have long careers in the game, man. So yes, it's like, yes. man, you follow some people that that definitely showed you the ropes man and now you have a long 19 year career up in it man so man big salute to you for that bro man, for sure for you, sure man. i appreciate that yes sir all blessings praise due to god for sure always that always yes. god first yes, so explain sir. the whole process of man how you got your first deal uh how did that process even happen oh man man i tell everybody man man stay out there on your grind man move around do you do you do your shows man i was actually out performing around at different clubs and uh we was doing the open mic thing back then man and i was i winded up in an open mic night and the club owner winded up being there that night and the rest was history man the next the next year you heard about urban mystic so i i, I tell that's why i tell a lot of people man stay on your grind go out here promote yourself go in these buildings these open mic nights these 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 uh, uh whatever's going on anywhere you can touch the mic and, and display your talent go ahead and do it because that's how i got on that's what's up man for sure for sure yeah. from when you got on to to now how has the industry just changed oh man it's been a major change in, in so many aspects of the industry uh, uh 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 the digital downloading is one of them you know this is i come from the era i believe i came in the game right at the end of the, the 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 original way of doing things you know when we had to get out there on the road and take these two three week trips and be away from the house out in the streets grinding it with our posters and cds and stuff like that you know i come from that game now we got the uh the internet now to where we can just put a song up and 10 million people know about it by tomorrow and all over the world and that's you know it's amazing i love that you know i love that change and you know, it's a major thing, man. The music and all is changing, man. Everything with R and B, hip hop, things are coming together. Country music is 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 coming big back on the scene, man. Southern soul music. So that's it's it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful day, and I'm excited to be a part of. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, I'm gonna jump to just about your voice alone, man. How it goes to, you can go gospel, you can go R and B, you can go hip hop. Yes, you can sir. hit Southern Soul, you can hit Blues, you can hit Country, you can hit all these different areas just with your one voice. Do you think it's possible because you uh, embrace your own sound? Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. Coming up, you know, like you just mentioned, I was born and raised in the church. Uh, I came up on soul music, man. Uh, a good quart old quartet singing from back in the day, quartet gospel singing to blues singing. You know, these were the songs and music that I came up on. So. What you hear out of Urban Mystic is definitely a blend of, of all of that. You know, my oldest brother, uh, Poe Boy, a big ball of records from Miami, uh, Miami, Florida. You know, he played a big aspect, big part in my my life and my career. 
you know so the hip-hop side of me come from that you know and the, the, the gospel the soul side of me come from the other side so it's a it's a big combo of Ur with urban mystic you're gonna get a lot of <laughs> that's for sure man for yeah. sure man so explain to people uh how how it was when the i refuse record first dropped or where, where, where would you, where were you record and the then the out I, I refuse record how how did things just take off from those two records oh man uh we'll start with where were you that was my first record there man mm -hmm. shouts out there by the uh, supported that and uh helped me out with that record. that record i went to new york and hooked up with a uh, super producer kg from naughty by nature man he got with me and that divine meal his whole camp they came in produced the record helped me wrote on it and uh man it was history it was that was more so for me uh uh, uh, uh opportunity and just a, a honor to be up there with them with them greats and, and working with them and them spending time with me we was up there for like two weeks and uh we did the record they premiered the record on 106 and parking stayed up there for like five weeks on our top five videos of the week and man it was a beautiful thing that was the beginning for sure for sure man yeah that um it was uh some more records that you dropped too that in the morning the days of our lives and all, oh, yeah, all that man, man. so I, re I refuse man those are those were the records man that came out to where were you those we had them gotten into the game and start messing around shots out to my brother from miami uh super producer scott storch he came with me on uh that uh i refuse and in the morning record man and uh it, it was it was a movie man i hooked up with my partner Pooh Bear out of out of atlanta he helped me wrote on those joints and man it was we went in the studio and it was history from there that's what's up man so when stuff shifted man from being on a major label show or tell the audience the difference between moving from a major label to an independent label um and how your grind that you learned before even getting signed helped you uh get to this point like in the independent lane Oh uh, yeah, definitely. It was a, it was a, it was a. It, for me, it was a smooth transition. You know, I, I always work with people who who know me, who who been around me all my life. You know, so they 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 respect and support all my decisions with uh, mm -hmm. going independent. But it's definitely been a a, a a challenge. You know, going from the the major labels. Still, I still am uh, uh, cahoots with the major labels like. Uh, Fontana or uh, Universal, we still release records through them, but I okay. do it independently now through my through my label. And uh, so you know, it, it's a beautiful thing though, man. It's a it's a major shift and uh, a move for everybody. You know, I tell anybody to, you know, independence is definitely the way that the, the check coming straight to the house. For you sure, know, uh, you you get to oversee everything because you're the boss at that point. You know what I mean? The CEO. <laughs> you know right, I mean? right. So it, it's 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 a beautiful thing, man, to be able to, you know, monitor everything and watch everything and, and do it as well. So I love the change. That's what's up, man. So um tell the people about your your new label, Sobe Entertainment. Oh man, Sobe Sobe is my, my one of my former labels that we still okay, okay. With. Yeah, we still okay. working together. Sobe Zobi was the record label that put the first records out. Uh, where okay. was all my first records, man? We we've been family and, and moving along since then, man. And right now, Urban Life Music Group is pretty okay. much just the branch of Sobi Entertainment. Okay, you know what I, I mean? Gotcha. I am the CEO of Urban Life Music Group, and okay. uh, that's it, man. We out here moving. We're gonna be signing some new artists. We're gonna be putting some new music out. All type of stuff. So y'all stay on the lookout. Man, that's what's up, man. It, that's that's cool that uh, cause you see, I guess kind of back in the day as well, man. You will look on the bottom of somebody's album, and you'll see a whole lot of different labels on the bottom right. on the bottom of it to see who are all working together. And it's and cool, who, who, yeah. That who you is, still who got that, is. yeah. You still got that smooth transition going. Yeah. So, tell me about this whole Southern Soul thing. It's, it's kind of like the Southern Soul vibe, but are they embracing you? Or you you targeting that area even more or what's going on oh man you know like i said i came up on southern soul i always loved southern soul music uh so when i when i got with my producers and we wanted to uh, go in the studio and work on some southern soul it was a beautiful thing man and it's funny because i always been told that and talked about with that with my whole career like er you got this that, that southern soul voice man you are and b but you got we hear that southern soul in you so it was a it was a beautiful thing to be able to actually go in there and record it and uh and mess around with it man and 
we came up with some hit records. The, hit, the records felt good. We put the records out there, and it, it's been a beautiful thing, man. They, the, the Southern Soul Lane has in, have embraced me very well, man. Shouts out right. to my partner, Pokey Bear, uh, P2K out there doing this thing. Shouts right, out right. to King George doing this thing, man. It's it's all over, man. We out, we out here making moves. For sure, you definitely are, man. Um, one thing about you, man, that always stood out to me, man, was your humbleness, man. You know what I mean? So it don't matter how many records you done sold, how many crowds you done rock, man, you always stay 100, always stay humble. And uh, But when it was time to perform, you came to put on the show and you shut it down, man. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like on that stage, is it is it like your love for the stage, your love for performance, performing? Is that the thing that, that drives, drives you or what is it? Oh man, yeah, I love the stage. Like that's my, that's my. I get to bring out my alter ego on that stage. You know, I, I, I can, I can, I can, I can be myself on that stage, and, and it's a beautiful thing. So when you, when, when I'm not on stage, I'm, I'm me. I'm who I am. But when I'm on that stage, I'm, a, I'm a whole total person, different person. I, I black everything out, and I, I be who I am, man, and, and get it in. <laughs> that's what's up, bro. For <laughs> sure, man. So tell, tell the people, how do you balance? Like the industry, family life, CEO, all these different things, man. And even with promoting you promoting yourself on the internet, I see you doing videos everywhere from Instagram, all kind of things, man. You know what I'm yes. talking about? Yeah. So how you balance all that? Oh man, you know, it, it, it's not easy, you know, being a family man and having 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 a family life and a business life, but you know, it's definitely a, a challenge, but I do balance it out. I, I get my family time in. Like right now, I've been home for for a week, so I've been off for a week. I go back out next week, and uh, I've just bas basically been there putting my time in with my family, and spent a couple birthdays and time. You know, we just been having a good time as family, and uh, they know they know what it is and they respect what I do. You know, I got my office and my studio at home, so when I go in there, they they give me my time. I come out, they know it's, it's family time, so. It is what it is, man, and we get it in. They they love it though. They they love what they got do. So I, I I enjoy doing it. That's what's up, man. So so how many? I ain't speaking of the the fresh hats you got on right now, but as a boss, how many hats do you wear in this industry? Oh man, man, we got plenty of hats that we wear in this industry, man. We <laughs> you know we, we 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 play CEO. We the artist. We the manager. We the we the we the overseer. We we all that, man. We. We doing everything in house and keeping it in house under one roof, and that's the way we do it. That's the way we've been keeping things afloat, and that's the way we're gonna keep. That's what's up, man. Owning your own, man. So the importance of being your own boss, man. Can you can you share that with the people? You know, I know it takes work, but oh, yeah. the importance of it, man. Oh, it's, it's highly important. You know, it, you know, my dad always used to tell me, own something. If it ain't that, you know, we ain't nothing but a car or a house own something you know being your own boss is, is very important you know uh, uh having a business you know uh incorporating your business in your name getting you know having a bank account in your name for your business this is it's important you know that's something that you own that you can make some big moves with so i encourage everybody to if you got a business if you ain't got a business go and incorporate get your business so you can have something under your wing that you say you own not renting, not leasing, you own it. This is something that's you can sell for millions of dollars later down the line if it comes down to it. So I definitely encourage everybody to do that. Yeah, for sure, Only bro. Step is key. For sure, for sure. I agree, I agree, man. Tell the people about this new single, this Phoenix single, man. This looking like it's starting to pick up steam, man. Tell oh, them about man. it. What's yeah, going on? Yeah, man. I, I, we just dropped the new record, the Phoenix joint, still got that selling the soul vibe laying on it with a mix with a little R&B feel to it. And uh, yeah, that's what we want to do, man. We want to keep it moving. Just keep that Southern Soul vibe going and stay in the R&B lane as well. So y'all check it out, man. It's the brand new single. We just dropped it. It's doing well. No, TikTok is all over TikTok. They doing the videos and uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook. Shouts out to everybody. I see y'all, man. I love it. Appreciate the love, man. Feeding brand new record. Who you with? Uh huh. Hey, that's what it is, man. What you think about TikTok, man? You know, what I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a big thing. You could go viral so quick, man. Oh um, man, I love it. Yeah, it's crazy. Like I was just mentioning about how the game used to be. You know, having to get out there and touch the grid yourself. 
you know, be out on the grind yourself and, and pretty much touching the people. This uh, TikTok and Instagram, Facebook, these things are doing it for you, like hands on. Like you can sit down and less than an hour, you done went viral or something, you know what I mean? And it's, it's crazy, but it's, it's a beautiful thing. So as a as a CEO, um, I know like looking at analytics and you know I mean seeing where certain songs is peaking and doing good at and this that and other, do you try to say okay well this this might be an opportunity for me to do a tour over here? Does that kind of um, make oh, yeah. you decide if you want to say oh, I want to go over here and do a show over there do a show? Most definitely, you know you you have to watch your analytics and study your analytics. That's highly important, you know from. Uh, 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 social media to, to like you say the actual places to where you want to be like I said the world is on social media so mm -hmm. if you see I mean it's plain as day if it's telling me that uh, 10 people over here want to see me and one people over here want to see me it, it probably going to do me the better thing to go where the 10 people want to see right. me you know right, what I mean right. so that's, 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 that's a part of studying the analytics also with social media you know with being being on here, being online, you know, studying your analytics, knowing when most of your followers are online, that's the best time to post. You know what I mean? So it, 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 it's a lot into it. So I definitely uh, study my analytics, and I encourage everybody to study your analytics. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Now, I know you already said stage is like home for you, man. Uh, but uh, what which one feels better to you, man? Uh, is it on the stage or is it in the studio creating new music? Which one stands out the most to you? Oh man, I, I, I have to say that stage, man, because you know, in the studio, if I if I, if I do something that I, I didn't too much agree with, I can go back and change it up. But on that stage, it is what it is. Everything is live, full, real and uncut. I love it like that. Then I, at the same time, I get the feedback from the people. So right. that, 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 make, that makes me go harder. So I love it on the stage, that, that's my home. So, Another thing, man, I know you've been working with a lot of independent artists. Like, yo, I'm a, I mean, people have been reaching out to you for features, and include me, you know what I'm talking about? I yes, got you yes, on the record, yes, too, yes, you know what yes. I mean? One of my homies got you on a couple records, man. So I was just yes, like, sir. you showing love like that, like, yo, you know what I mean? Keeping it solid, working with everybody with it, that, you know what I mean? Yes. That's professional with it, man. You know, what's your process with that, man, for, for people that might want to um, reach out to you? Man, features. most definitely, man. Definitely holler at me. Like, uh, uh, you, you can witness to it. You know, I I, 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 I shout back at you, man, and we, we go to work. And that's what we do, man. It's all about supporting one another and uh, help uplifting one another. And that's what we do, man. Anything I can do to help uh, another brother or uh, sister do their thing that they that they love to do, I'm, I'm all for it and with it. So y'all definitely reach out to me on my social media, uh, Urban Mystic Official on Instagram. Urban Mystic Music on Facebook, Urban Mystic One on TikTok. Highlight is actually me talking back to you. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. All right, so yeah, I know you've been in this game for a good minute, man. Um, this is a new thing that I'm doing. Uh, my, my boy asked me to ask these type of questions, man. Out of all this time you've been in the industry, man, what's the worst advice that you got from people? Oh man, the worst advice I probably got from somebody was, you know, stay to myself. You know, don't, 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 don't go outside my box. You know what I mean? And that, I, I did that for a little while, and I found out that that was not the right way to go. You know, stand to yourself, like you just say, opening up the doors, uh, 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 dealing with other artists, dealing with other producers. This alone uh, spreads relationships and also. Uh, uh, put your name more out there. It's, it's, it's just more of a, a beautiful thing. So that was one of the worst things, you know, to stay to yourself. You know, if you're an artist, a producer, you want to be in everybody's face. That's that's the that's the thing. That's the key. So they know who you is, and when you're out there doing your thing, they respect you. So that was one of the worst things. Like that. That's what's up, man. So what's the best advice you feel like you got? Oh, the best advice I got, man, was no matter how hard it get stay moving keep it moving don't stop that's what's up man for yeah. sure man <laughs> salute 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 man so hey big shout out to your management and all that man shout them out say some some of the people man, that's like yeah, teamwork yeah, and all yeah, that definitely, stuff man shouts out to my management my folks man diana she's been holding me down that's who it is man when y'all reach out 
to book me or anything for shows, interviews, features, you holler at my booking info. Deanna is the contact. That's my manager. And uh, yeah, man, we out here, man. Urban Life Music Group shots out to Sobe, Fontana, Universal, everybody, man. Everybody who's been supporting me from day one. I love y'all. That's what it is, man. So also tell the people, man, some of the producers that you're working with now on some of this new pro these new projects that you're working on. Oh man, shouts out to my boy D4, man, out of Mississippi. Why? Uh, he did he did the last uh, track I did, the feeding joint, and keep it moving the, the track before that. So no he, he he's more on the uh, Southern Soul vibe, but he do all type of producing, hip hop and R&B. So uh, yeah, that's my man, the up and coming. And he's been doing his thing, man. So shouts out to both. D4. Man, D4. Shout out yeah. to man. I bought a beat from him too, man. So I know for sure, for sure who you talk yes, about, sir. man. Yeah, he's a very talented brother, yeah, man. So he got that. He got that work, man. Y'all holler. Man, for sure, man. So big shout out to you, man, for, for continuing to pour into these up and coming artists, up and coming producers. Just just the I mean, you'll you'll go hit. Uh, a big auditorium or you hit a small club man uh, that's right. that's so right. man i salute your grind bro i salute from where you started at with the uh internet because i remember when you first started getting on there to yeah. now it look like you man i'm embracing it you you're a beast on it now man you know man, what I mean? man i appreciate that fam it's all with growth man and, and my people that support me man i appreciate y'all Hey, for sure, man. So, hey, is there any last things that you want to tell the people, man? Um, any information you want to give out? Oh, man, yeah, definitely. Uh, pretty much like I just mentioned, follow me, social media, Urban Mystic Official, Instagram, Urban Mystic One, TikTok, Urban Mystic Music, Facebook. Yeah, man, we out here, man. The next stop. Where's the next stop? Oh, man, where we going next? Uh, 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 Tennessee. We'll be in Tennessee on the, on the third. That's the third, right? No, Huntsville. We've been in Huntsville, Alabama on the third, September 3rd. So if you're in the area or know anybody in the area, y'all pull up on me. We out there. Urban Mystery. For sure. Hey, before we get up out of here, man, since you mentioned about the, the tours, man, do you have a, a schedule that you got going on you want to mention out there? Uh, yeah, actually, we're going to be uh, premiering the schedule on, on my website and my social media. They putting everything together now. So we had okay. to revive the schedule because new dates were coming in. So uh, yeah, like I just mentioned, Huntsville is the next spot. Um, um, Augusta, Georgia. Augusta, South Carolina is the second. That's right before Huntsville. So yeah, y'all just follow me. I'm gonna put the dates up on my social media so everybody can be tuned in. If you're in the area, please pull up on me. We'll holla at you. That's what it is, man. Well, again, I salute your grind, man. I appreciate everything you've done, you do, oh, man. and appreciate continue. That to grind bro salute yes, man. I appreciate you family